whatever frame rate you shoot, you double that to get the shutter speed for ideal looking motion blur. So when shooting a movie at 24 frames per second, you would typically want a 148th shutter speed. And this is where using ND filters comes into play. Add ND to control exposure and bring down the shutter speed in bright conditions or as needed. This first shot is without ND and you can tell because the shutter is very, very fast. You'll notice some staccato movement in the cars passing and then the turning vehicles as well. You're just getting each precise frame and so it makes it mildly stutter. When neutral density filters are added, it just makes the motion blur smoother, more cinematic. You really see it in that van going by. Now this shot has ND added to the Moondog Labs anamorphic adapter. And so we got it down to a 148 shutter, which is a normal shutter speed for this frame rate. And thus the cars passing look smoother. Now there's always a little bit of 24 frames per second jetter. That's normal. But the motion blur is a different animal and it just makes it more cinematic. Shooting moving water, you can really see motion blur. Here the ND is added and you've got the nice blur on the water. By the way, we shot 4K and zoomed in to 100% within a 1080 timeline to see this shot. Second example here, we're at 196 shutter. There is some blur, it's not too bad, but you're starting to see the water droplets. It was overcast and so this is still without ND. Now the light changed, the sun came out, and the shutter changed. So this is 1 over 384, and you're really starting to see each droplet here. No motion blur really whatsoever. Now in still photography, sometimes a high shutter speed is great. You can capture something in the moment, you can capture that drop. But in video, typically speaking, what the blur, it just looks more like a movie, it looks more dreamy, more cinematic. The first ND filter we showed was a 1.2. This ND filter is a fader ND, sometimes called a variable ND. You can dial in the amount of neutral density to affect the exposure. Now there are pluses and minuses using this. The pluses being that you don't have to change out filters. The minuses are sometimes you can get color shifts and or vignetting, but the ease of use usually outweighs any of the negatives. Adding one of these to your rig is really nice and gives you a lot more control. Shooting more water here and with the ND filter at 148, you get the nice blur of the water. Again, we pushed in here 4K in a 1080 sequence. And here's with no ND filter, 1 over 768, really high shutter. You're seeing all the water droplets. Not necessarily a bad look, just not a cinematic, typically speaking. The 148 shutter just has that movie look, the more dreamy, cinematic look. And one more quick example here. Side to side motion is where you can really tell the most with blur. So there's blur with the walk by and on the car, but on the one with no ND filter, you're getting that staccato feel. You're seeing the crisp frame, no motion blur. So using the ND filter, you get nice motion blur compared to the high shutter speed that's really crisp. So using ND filters is really a great way to up your production value and make your videos look more cinematic and more professional. Now adding motion blur with ND filters is just one thing they do. You can also control depth of field. That topic is for another video, but just know that ND filters are a great way to make your videos look better. So no matter which type of ND filter you choose to use, fader NDs or solid NDs, they are a really great addition to your filmmaking kit. 
And before you go, just wanted to point out quickly that not only did we use ND filters on this opening time lapse footage, but our LUT packs were used as well. Using LUTs is a great way to quickly and easily color grade your footage without having to be a experienced colorist. Our LUT packs are available on our website. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you won't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.